X-ray testing. An X-ray test works both internal and external. How it works is we put a, these days, a charge couple device, a plate underneath that picks up the digital signal coming through. The X-rays converts it into something digital. Um, back 40 years ago, X-rays developed on film. The, uh, the radiographer took an X-ray, they had to send the film away, get developed, and around about, in a rush job, four hours, if it didn't matter, two days, you found out how bad your arm was broken. Okay? These days, it's instantaneous because they've got an electronic X-ray detector, a charge couple device. So, here's a, underneath, that's the detector. Here's the metal. I'm going to put two cracks. One of them's horizontal, one of them's vertical. One's horizontal, one's vertical for each different type of test. So, X-rays get bombarded down through the surface. The metal absorbs X-rays. If there's, if it doesn't absorb very many X-rays coming through here, this would show as a massive white spike because it's only got that much of the metal to go through. And then it's just sapping down the crack where it's not getting absorbed by the metal. So here that shows up definitely as a crack. If you think about it, but this one, down here the x-rays have got to travel through that much metal. Here, they have to travel through the identical amount. So it doesn't really show up a horizontal crack or a crack that's 90 degrees to the direction of path of the x-ray. So x-rays are really good if the crack's 90 degrees to the, or parallel to the path of the um, x-ray. Really horrible if it's 90 degrees. It'll just show as a tiny shadow, which is inconclusive. 